Hi everyone. How many of us are familiar with these words? Your calling, your purpose, your destiny, your legacy. You know, what's the common thread? It's all about you. It's all about discovering your individual dream or your individual calling or your individual purpose, your destiny. And man, let's leave, let's leave a legacy. Let's change the world for Jesus. You know, what we get confused with in the body of Christ is predestined works that God has for us as his body and his calling for the church, his purpose. You know, we preach from Jeremiah 29, 11, for the plans that God has for you, says the Lord. But what we don't ever realize is the context for that very passage is in relation to a nation. And it's the same today. God's calling, God's purpose is for us as his body. Romans 8, 28 to 31 is very clear on what the calling for his body is. And by the way, you can't lose this calling no matter what's happening on the earth. No coronavirus, no aspect of anything external can rob the church from this internal reality of transformation because it's not based or built on the external. It's built on the internal. It's built on the eternal spirit. And so the calling for us as his people is to become like him. It's very clear. For those God foreknew, he predestined to be conformed into the image of the Son. A people that could love like the Son. A people that lived like the Son. A people that demonstrated wisdom. A people of oneness, fellowship. This is the calling for the body of Christ. This is what creates oneness in the body of Christ. These words about individual dreams and individual callings and individual purposes, they actually create division. They create a church that's pulling in opposite directions. The Bible says that a house that's divided cannot stand because it's pulling against one another. I see a lot of this in the body of Christ today. I struggle to see a church that's one where a lost world knows that Jesus was sent for them. And one of the major reasons is because we're all looking for these individual callings and purposes because we've been taught they exist. Can I urge you today to seek the scriptures and seek the Holy Spirit to reveal the scriptures and not just take what man says about the scriptures? Because I don't want any of us to be led astray by what we think is God that's not. God is very clear. His calling is for the church, the body. It's not an individual calling. It's for his body, the church of Jesus Christ. He is building in accordance to his calling, his dream. And I pray that you are in this reality, in the spirit, being transformed into his calling that cannot be lost, but is to be discovered in the sun. Pray this encourages you today and you discover his calling for the body of Christ.